Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a brief look at Windows Vista Starter, which was a low-cost version of Windows Vista that was intended for developing markets. Now, if you may have seen a video that I did a couple of years ago covering Windows XP Starter, and this operating system like XP Starter was kind of designed for the same reasons. It was really only released, as I said, in um, areas that did not have a very uh, well-developed technology market so you would not find this in places uh, like the US Canada Australia Japan you know pretty uh, you know large countries with a very uh, you know developed technology market you would not find this there and because of this Microsoft kind of geared this operating system towards very low-end hardware kind of like Windows XP starter as well that could run on uh, you know very low-end hardware. Windows Vista was you know it, it was kind of the same deal here as well I'm just going to go through here and set all this up. You're going to choose Windows Vista Starter. You're going to accept the license, custom. You're going to go through and briefly install this here. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, kind of telling you guys a lot of the, you know, features in this operating system once we actually get it installed here. And also a lot of the very interesting uh, limitations, which a lot of these are very similar to Windows XP Starter. Um, so, this yeah, this operating system it was only you know kind of geared towards those markets. Um, it was made for very low end hardware, and it was also kind of geared towards people who did not really know a whole lot about computers. You know, very novice computer users, as it kind of put uh, a lot of you know like limitations on what you could do on this computer or on this operating system. We're gonna be getting into all of that once the installation finishes up here. Um, I'm just going to you know just kind of let it go through this here. Uh, this should be pretty, you know, pretty much like any other Windows Vista install. And once it does that, you know, once it finishes up, I will come back and you know take you through the operating system. All right, so we have finished up the Windows Vista starter installation. Uh, it was pretty much exactly the same as any other edition of Windows Vista. Um, so while this is booting up, I'm just going to tell you um, some of the very interesting, uh, you know, limitations that were put on this operating system by Microsoft to kind of you know make it easier for those who didn't really know a lot about computers. Um, so the first one, and this was also you know exactly the same in, in uh, XP Sorter, there was a three program minimum. So you could only have three programs running and three windows open uh, from each of those programs at the same time. And I think this was done for kind of two reasons. It was kind of done to put uh, a lot less uh, stress on that lower end hardware. And as I said, it was probably also done to make it so, you know, novice computer computer users doesn't, you know, like they don't open up like a bunch of windows and get very overwhelmed. Um, there's also a constant watermark in the bottom right hand corner. This was also the same with XP. I'm not really sure why this is done. Uh, they're really you know, is no benefit to this. I think it's just there because, you know, it's a super low cost version. And I guess they just said, yeah, we're just gonna put like this very annoying watermark there. Um, there's also a one gigabyte RAM maximum limit. So you can only have a maximum of one gig of RAM. I gave this uh, VM here 512 megabytes. Um, and there's also a 250 gigabyte hard disk uh, maximum. So you could not have uh, any hard drive over 250 gigabytes. Um, both of these, uh, or Windows XP Starter had uh, both a RAM and a hard disk size maximum as well, although it you know was not one or one gig and 250 gigs. Um, it could also only, it was really only designed to run on very low spec processors like the Intel Celerons and the Pentium 3s. Something very interesting, it only needed a 384 megabytes of RAM. Uh, the only version of Windows Vista that only needed 384 megs of RAM. All other versions needed at least 512 megabytes. So apparently it's still going through and it is going uh, to complete the installation here. So I'm just going to, uh, again, just you know let this finish up and I'm going to take you through the operating system once it finishes. All right, so here we are logging in the Windows Vista starter. You can see uh, that the welcome screen on here is just a solid blue color. Um, as opposed to what would be in all the other versions of Windows Vista that you know have uh, the standard uh, Windows Vista background on the welcome screen. So this has been changed uh, as well. And I, th I think there is also, because in Windows XP Starter there was a uh, monitor resolution minimum that for some reason didn't take effect when I installed it in a uh, virtual machine, but I assume if you were to you know, do that on real hardware, 
Um, I, I think it was like 102 4 by 760 it was the max resolution that you could have it set as but I'm kind of interested to see uh, if Windows Vista starter is the same way all right so here we are booted up into Windows Vista starter we have as you can see right here a totally different wallpaper as well um, we're gonna go in, into personalize right away you can see we've got uh, this you know constant watermark down here uh, that's you know just it, it's always there even if you put Windows on, uh, like on top of it it uh, doesn't go away. I assume there are, uh, as with Windows, I think Windows 7 starter had the same thing, and Windows XP started. I think there were a couple of registry hacks you could do in Windows 7 starter to get this watermark to go away. I assume that's going to be the same deal here. Um, we're going to go into desktop background and see. I assume I, I'm going to just take a guess and, and think that all of, uh, of the same wallpapers would be in here. Apparently it's not responding already, but I assume there's not going to be like any arrow themes and all that stuff. That's probably been taken out of this because even in Windows Vista Home Basic, all that stuff wasn't there. So I assume this is going to be an even lower cost and uh, you know lower feature rich version than Windows Vista Home Basic. So you can see here that we don't do we even have we don't even have like the regular windows vista wallpaper in here we've got all these other ones um so we'll just set it uh i don't know this one looks pretty nice we'll just set it to this one here and i want to change the uh, display settings i want to change the screen resolution uh let's go to 1920 by 1080 okay so it is going to work which is nice i also am going to take a guess and yeah they've kind of skimmed down on a lot of the uh default programs that are installed um to obviously you know take up less hard drive space if we go into computer here and go to uh, properties i think it actually identifies itself okay so yeah it says windows vista starter um the copyright 2006 we've got a 1.0 windows experience index uh you, you see we have a uh, we, we got 512 megabytes of ram and yeah so all this stuff is in here i'm gonna go i, I gotta get how do you get to the theme i think you go to personalize i want to see yeah, theme. I don't think there is. There's modified theme. There's Windows Vista, which is what we're on now. Windows and uh, Windows Classic. Those are the only two themes we have in here. So we don't have Windows Arrow. All that stuff has been taken out of here, which is, you know, kind of expected. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this whole three window uh, maximum thing. So we're going to go and open up, say, the Welcome Center here. We'll have that open. We'll open up uh, Windows Calendar. So we got this open and we'll do my computer. So now if we try to open up another window, okay, so that one's gonna open up. Maybe that's because yeah, this is Windows Explorer. So because I think it has like the same deal where each each program that you have open can have up to three windows. So I assume that Windows Explorer can have up to three windows open. So we'll do uh, solitaire and then we'll try to open no oh, hardware acceleration is disabled. Okay, well oh well that's like actually coming from the solitaire game. So we'll have solitaire open. It's not going to run very well on this on this very low hardware. And then we'll try to open up uh, Windows Media Player. Okay, so this works. Um, WordPad. Okay, maybe this isn't taking effect, or maybe this has been. I I read on like on the website where they were talking about this that there is a three program minimum, but it seems like there isn't because I'm able to open up a bunch of windows here. Um, let's do okay so so here it is right here it says you can only have up to three programs open at the same time to open another program save your work close one of the programs that are currently open so uh, and you also have the option I think XP sorter was this had this uh, checkbox here as well where if, if, if you didn't want this pop-up window you could have it show up as a task tray notification so for some reason the mouse is like kind of freaking out so I'm just gonna close all these windows um, and, and and see how this does so yeah, as I said, they've kind of skimmed down on all of the programs that are installed. All these games, I don't even know why these are installed, because they're not really going to like run well at all. Uh, when I was trying to run Solitaire, it was just super laggy. Um, it automatically gives you this thing saying that hardware acceleration is either disabled or not supported by your video card. Um, I think it's just because we have a very little hardware. We only have 512 megs of RAM on this virtual machine. So... Yeah, you can see all of the all of the animations have been turned off, so it's still somewhat playable. But uh, even then, like when I'm trying like to drag this card, you can see that it's it's super laggy. Um, so I don't even know why those games were like actually kept in here because you can't even really play them. So we'll just run a Winver here. I just want to see what it says 
uh, in Winverse. So it does have a Windows Vista starter banner up here. It's version 6.0 build 6000. And yeah, you know, pretty much you know, like all the same stuff here. Um, really the only two interesting things are the fact that there's this constant watermark down here and that there's a three program minimum. Honestly, that's really all there is to say. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to, or I was kind of hoping there would be a lot more to talk about, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there is this Windows Vista watermark down here and there's a three program limit. And of course, as I said, all uh, of like the hardware maximum, so you can only have a max of one gig of RAM and a max of 250 gigabytes uh, on your hard drive space. But yeah, that is really it. Uh, for Windows Vista Starter, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.